The Kai Ku One, Surian, South Korea's multi talented workhorse. Meet the South Korean beast dominating the skies, the Kai Kuk One Surian. They call it the Korean utility helicopter, but trust me, there's nothing basic about this beast. This is the Kai Kuk One Surian, and it's about to redefine what you thought a helicopter could do. Forget clunky Chinooks and lumbering Blackhawks. This South Korean marvel is a lean, mean, multi-role machine. From ferrying troops and cargo to plucking hikers from mountains and blasting bad guys with rockets, the Surion does it all. Think Swiss Army knife with a jet engine. Need to rush supplies to a disaster zone? Surion's got you covered. Medical emergency in the middle of nowhere? This flying ambulance is on its way. And if things get hairy, well, let's just say the Surian packs a serious punch. But it's not just about muscle. This baby is packed with cutting-edge tech, giving pilots eagle-eyed vision and ironclad control. And if things go south, its crash-resistant shell is there to keep everyone safe. Oh, and did I mention it can handle the ocean too? Naval variants of the Surian are patrolling coastlines and securing the seas. This chopper is like a chameleon, adapting to any mission, anywhere. So buckle up because we're about to take you on a deep dive into the world of the Kai Ku-1 Surian. This is more than just a helicopter. It's a game changer. Hit that subscribe button and get ready to have your mind blown. Soaring above the Korean peninsula, the Kai Qh one Surian, also known as the Korean Utility Helicopter, is more than just a sleek silhouette against the sky. It's a symbol of South Korea's burgeoning aerospace industry and a testament to its commitment to technological prowess. Born from a collaborative effort between Korea Aerospace Industries KAI, and the European powerhouse Airbus Helicopters, formerly Eurocopter, the Surian is a multi-role marvel. At its core, it's a versatile utility transport, capable of ferrying troops and cargo with ease. Up to nine soldiers can be comfortably accommodated, while a payload of over 5,000 pounds ensures efficient transport of critical supplies. But the Surian's talents extend far beyond basic logistics. Its adaptable nature allows it to seamlessly transform into a search and rescue savior, plucking stranded hikers from mountaintops or locating survivors after natural disasters. In times of medical crisis, it becomes a flying ambulance, rushing the injured to critical care. And when security demands bite, the Surian dons its tactical gear, morphing into an armed escort, protecting vulnerable assets with optional heavy firepower. The Surian's versatility is matched by its impressive performance. Powerful twin engines propel it to speeds exceeding 270 kilometers per hour while its sleek design ensures agile maneuvering even in tight spaces. This nimble dance in the air is further enhanced by a state-of-the-art avionic system, giving pilots unparalleled control and situational awareness. Safety is paramount, and the Surian boasts a crash-resistant structure, offering valuable protection for passengers and crew. The platform's adaptability extends to the maritime realm, with specialized naval variants tackling missions on and off the coast. The KI QH-1 Surian helicopter is primarily used by South Korea, with the majority serving in the Army, followed by smaller contingents in the Navy and Marine Corps. The estimated total number of Surians in the South Korean military is around 90, 100. However, the Surian has also found export buyers outside of South Korea, making its presence felt in the following countries. Indonesia. Indonesia operates around 16 Surian helicopters in its Army aviation for utility and troop transport purposes. Colombia. Colombia acquired 16 Surian helicopters in 2015 for its Air Force, primarily for search and rescue and disaster relief missions. The Surian's impact has transcended borders. From the rugged Indonesian terrain to the Colombian jungles, the helicopter has found favor with international operators, showcasing South Korea's engineering prowess on the global stage. 
Therefore, while South Korea remains the primary user of the Ka-IQH-1 Surian, it has garnered interest and seen successful deployments in other countries as well. In the future, we can expect the Surian's reach to potentially expand further as KII continues to market and develop new variants of this versatile helicopter. But the Surian story is far from over. KAI is continuously pushing the boundaries, developing new variants that expand the helicopter's capabilities. Attack helicopter configurations are in the works, promising even greater versatility on the battlefield. For special operations demanding stealth and precision, dedicated variants are also being honed, making the Surian a true force to be reckoned with. The Kai Ku H1 Surian is more than just a helicopter. It's a symbol of South Korea's ambition and innovation. It's a testament to the power of collaboration and a harbinger of the country's growing influence in the aerospace arena. As it continues to soar, the Surian promises to rewrite the rulebook on helicopter versatility, leaving its mark on the skies and etching its name in the annals of aviation history.